Hey guys, I'm Lindsay Weiser, Marketing Manager here at Rack Square Data Centers, and we have another great IBM Power 10 video for you today. Today we're going to be talking about the IBM Power 10 processing power. I'm going to hand it over to the guys. Hi, I'm Jason Hardy with Rack Square Data Centers. I'm the General Manager. Hi, I'm Joshua Grable, Operations Manager at Rack Square Data Centers. Today we've got one of our new IBM Power 10s here on the table, and I've asked Josh to talk about what he's seen over the years in terms of processing power between, you know, we've got Power 8s out in the data center, we've got Power 9s, and we're adding Power 10s. So I thought uh, he's been here for all these generations. He could share a little bit about what he's seen in processing power. Thank you. One of the things we've added in the, since we've acquired the P10 is the uh, P10 we're using today, this is a Power 10, is also a P10 rated processor for um, uh, those familiar with IBM licensing. Uh, the P10 is the rate of the price class of the i-series we're using the OS 400 operating system. Um, the PVU of these devices are still rated at 70 per core. Going from the generations of the Power 8, the Power 7, these cores haven't increased from a PVU, but what we have increased is the CPW weight of each of these devices. One of the things from the old Power 8 that we were running from was an 8 core single socket box. This is actually a 12 core single socket. This particular device actually with the CPW uh, rating on these is actually double the horsepower while increasing our processor capacity by 150%. So we're getting additional horsepower to power more powerful VIOS servers because we're using faster, larger, bigger cards than we're in the past. We're also getting additional memory so it can fit more resources on a single platform that we could in the past. Customers that are traditionally using two tenths or even a whole processor in this case can actually go down to sometimes less than a tenth to one twentieth of a processor to half the processor capacity they were using in the past. The additional threads, additional power these are providing compared to the past has increased dramatically in the last uh, few years, especially going to the Power 10 from the Power 9 when we doubled our processing capability. So what I didn't mention at the beginning is that we actually are a provider of IBM Power in the cloud. Um, so for companies that no longer want to have a power server on premise or they want a disaster recovery device in a data center somewhere, they can come to Rack Squared for a solution. The things that Josh just talked about, what that does, the benefits that our customers see, is if you are currently on a Power 9, let's just you know make the numbers easy, assume that you are using a full processor on a Power 9. What you're going to see in terms of performance on the Power 10 is going to allow you to use less processor. So uh, right now it's looking like it's going to be about a half a processor versus a full processor on the Power 9. Now. One of the great things about the cloud is that we're able to work with you to fine tune those resources. So if you think about when you purchase a device, you're gonna go in, uh, go to IBM or an IBM business partner, you're gonna buy a standard configuration. You get kind of what the basics are in the box. With a cloud solution, we can sell you this processor in 10th of a processor unit. So if you, today you're using a full processor, maybe that's because that's what came in the box we're going to reduce that, which reduces your cost. You're gonna go down, we'll try you at a half processor. If a half processor doesn't work, we can move you up to a six tenths, seven tenths. We can fine tune that configuration for you. We can also go the other direction. So anything we can do to bump that processing power up and down for you allows you to fine tune and save money. In addition to doing that with the processor, we can also do that with the memory. So again, oftentimes customers are using all the memory in their box because they paid for the box, so they might as well use it. What we find with the cloud is we can fine tune all of those resources to be very specific to what you need. We can uh, tweak those on a seasonal basis. So if you find that you know maybe fall is your busy season and you need more processing power, we can increase processing power on a temporary basis. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in the cloud. And then obviously, what Josh uh, hadn't mentioned, you want to talk for just a minute about storage and how we use a SAN infrastructure? Absolutely. One of the, the nice parts about our storage infrastructure is we don't use a traditional DASD in case if those are familiar with the old uh, ways of hooking up a storage via SAS cable. These particular devices, we're using fiber channel connections back to our FS7300. Uh, with that, we can allocate anywhere from, you know, this, if you want one gig drives, all up to a petabyte, depending on how much capacity you need. How many uh, arms would you need for your uh, your partition or your uh, AS400 uh, operating system. Some customers might come in and say that, you know, I want 
10 50 gig drives i might want you know uh the c5 100 gig drives whatever it meets your capacity and needs we can carve up that situation for you and make it available for you the other nice thing about this is because it's all virtualized the san infrastructure and the vios as jason has mentioned not only can we you know add or remove processing memory we can also do the same thing with storage we can actually add hard drives to your partition and expand them while your box is still running and what Josh didn't mention, uh, he mentioned, and you might not have caught it, the uh, 7300 is the SAN, so that's an IBM SAN. So we've got the IBM uh, Power 10 that's connected to an IBM SAN. So it is IBM uh, hardware top to bottom. That IBM SAN we have replicating in near real time to our secondary data center. So we're not only storing your data locally, we're putting a copy off site so that in the event of a disaster, we've got another copy of your data. So. With that, we'll go ahead and wrap. If you're interested in having a conversation about IBM Power in the cloud, if you've got an IBM Power that you'd like to co-locate with us and get out of the management business, we can help you with that as well. But uh, check out our website, and uh, we'd love to have a conversation about the IBM Power solutions we can provide to you. So thanks, have a great day. Thank you. Well, I hope that video was really helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And we'll see you next time.